It's a crisp fall night in Lewiston, and head coach Peter Lasagna is guiding the Bates men's lacrosse team through a practice on Garcelon Field. But wait, lacrosse is a spring sport, and NASCAC rules strictly forbid teams from practicing with their coaches during the offseason. But as we all know, nothing is normal during a pandemic. Under revised conference rules that recognize the loss of games and competitions, spring sports coaches were allowed to work with their teams this fall. And for first-year student athletes, being able to practice with their coaches right away has been a silver lining in an otherwise difficult transition to college. I lost my season last year, and then I wasn't. It, it was hard to practice over the summer, um, and just being out on the field at any capacity has been honestly fantastic. Even with the modified drills with less people on the field and not being able to, to hit each other, um, it's, been, it's been so worth it, so worth it. Worth it for the players and worth it for the coaches as well. It's been an exquisite joy. Um, the reason why we know each other, the reason that we are connected, and hopefully at least part of the reason why they decided that Bates was their first choice is because of our shared passion for lacrosse. Get a drink! For us to be able to actually experience that together in their first months of especially this first year in college uh, has just been wonderful, really beneficial. I hope for them, I know for me. On the softball and baseball fields at Bates, it's a similar story, with first years getting a chance to show the coaches what they can do, and in many cases, getting back in the swing of things after a long layoff, with scrimmages that allowed pitchers to face actual batters and vice versa. Well, I have been pitching pretty much since I've been playing baseball. I kind of just, I don't know, it's just always been there since I was little. It's been uh, almost a year now. I did not get a chance to play this summer. I threw bullpens every now and then, but since I've been in the games, probably was when I was in the camp here, so about a year ago, yeah. It was nice. I mean, it felt good. It's always nice to go back on the mound, especially facing batters. It's been a while for that, too, so it was, it was nice to see some uh, season hitters, yeah. The first year spring sport athletes are learning quickly from their coaches and peers about what it takes to succeed even in these strange times. Being open to everything, you know, being able to adapt to different situations is definitely like a huge thing. Um, and I think our upperclassmen are awesome. They've really helped with that transition and like, um, you know, getting up to speed with like lifting and practices and class all at the same time. The connections developing between the first years and their coaches are quite strong. First year Lowell Hairston says that Coach Lasagna is exactly as advertised. Oh yeah, he's a funny guy. He's 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 like honestly one of the most empathetic people, but he's also just funny and he knows when, when to get serious on the field too. When it comes down to it, the Bates community continues to be what stands out the most to these Bobcats. I toured at a bunch of the NESCAC schools and the biggest takeaway I had is that the people at Bates are the nicest. They're really good people, there are really good values instilled in uh, the four years that students are here and all I knew was I just wanted to be a part of the community. I just love it here. I just love it here. It's been, it's been amazing. Like I have not I have not had an experience like this. I have not been able to be in, be in a community like this in, in forever. So it's this is truly unique. A unique experience in a unique time. There's no guarantee of a spring season, but the Bobcats nonetheless press on with their coaches and with each other on and off the field. For Bates Athletics, I'm Aaron Morris.